He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie Deadpool. This movie stars Ryan Reynolds, and it is about a comic book character that I really don't know a lot about. Now, obviously, they, there are so many comic book Marvel superhero movies. It just kind of, it's, it, I feel like it's finally reaching the tipping point where there's just too many, and they need to do something different, something, it's, it's its own genre now. It's superhero movies now. And this movie kind of has like a subgenre because this one reminded me of Iron Man a little bit. There was a lot of comedy in this film, and I hate to say it, but I freaking love this movie, and I don't want to be an advocate for Marvel movies, but... I have to be because it was just so, so good. Now this film obviously stars Ryan Reynolds. He's, this is his second time doing a superhero movie. I don't know if you saw The Green Lantern. I did and it was horrible. But this film, it, was, it just fit him perfectly. It was so funny. I was laughing literally every single line almost. I laughed. It, it almost got to be too much because I was getting annoyed that I was laughing so much. And the fact that every line was some sort of like zinger or dig or reference to something or he would break the fourth wall he would address the audience this was like deadpool was watching the movie with you and you and he was like commenting on the film and superhero genre in general it was just it was hilarious and it really hasn't been done in a marvel movie yet i would say the closest this film was was iron man but this is rated r it's raunchy it's like really gory and violent and ah uh, I, I, I freaking loved it, and I'm, I'm going to see it again. It was probably my favorite film this year, and I hate that I have to say that, but it's true. The downside of this film would, for me would be the dialogue. It was just too funny. It, it, it was annoying at times. And then I read somewhere where it was supposed to be annoying, so uh, mission accomplished. I was like, shut up, Ryan Reynolds. Stop talking. Stop making so many jokes. Stop, stop doing this. Stop doing that. And even one of the villains in the film says that to him and basically gags him so he'll stop talking. But I thought the role was perfect for Reynolds. Um, it was just so fun. It, it, ah, I loved it so much, and I uh, it just drives me crazy that I liked. Uh, I was literally kind of get. I was not going to see any more Marvel movies because I saw Ant Man last year, and it kind of was the same thing. It was kind of the cookie cutter. Oh, superhero! Here's the introduction. Here's the girl. Here's that. I didn't love Ant Man. I actually, I think I fell asleep in Ant Man. But this one, it was just above and beyond. It reminded me of Iron Man, like I said earlier, a lot, and I really, really enjoyed it. It felt more like a comedy than a superhero movie. So I would definitely recommend seeing Deadpool. It's, de it's rated R, it's really gory and violent, so if you're not into that type of thing, then don't see it. But I thought it was incredible, I can't wait to see it again. It was so fun, and I can't wait for the sequels to him. Alright, until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.